So this is Black for Billy, and I'm here to show you how to make a ghillie helmet. Now, without netting or anything, you don't need that stuff from my heart. Now what I started off here, I started making it, and what you want to get is some little kid's helmet, if you don't have a real airsoft one. Like, I have a real airsoft one, but just to show you what the kids want. You just want to get some kind of helmet. Make sure it kind of fits you. This one obviously doesn't, but my friend gave you this one. And you kind of want to... And what you need is some spray adhesive glue. Elmer's glue. It's really good to spray it on there. And then you want, like, some napkins here for the under. It's probably going to... Now, what you want to do is get some grass, some leaves, or something. And you want to, like, spray some of your pieces on like that. And then you kind of want to get it on. And then, like, you kind of want to shake it off. Like that. Just to make sure so you have enough on there. You don't want to put too much on there like I did. And it's, got, it's all over my floor. Now then, what you want to do under here, on the under, is you want to put some napkins or something soft under it keep like that put one down on the bottom and then you want to come kind of one on the side and then another one on the other side like that like so and then one on the back and there we go I kind of want it to look like that Get a little closer. You want it all on the other sides besides the front. You kind of want to get it in there. And then, once you have it planned out, you kind of want to take them out. And then you want to spray some stuff in. But it's best to use this because then it's just spray and forget about it. And it sprays and it goes on and stays really good. Okay, here we go. Put one on the back really good works. Then you want this on the side. There we go. Ooh, smells. Okay. Then I want one on the other side. Just this is just for padding. So it doesn't hurt when you get it on. Okay, there we go. Now we are, you shall have it like this. Mine's a little bit small, but that for now. Then you want to go outside and get some more weeds, and it shall look like this. And this stuff really dries fast. See, the it doesn't come off in there. So this stuff is really what you want. Now, then you want to go and get some other stuff. Outside, like some leaves and stuff like that. Something to make it more into the camouflage. Now, this hat, luckily, is already kind of camouflage, but you know how that stuff is. Not good enough. So, you kind of want to pat that down. Then you want to go outside and get some more stuff. Be right back. Got some leaves here. Now what you kind of want to do is put them in like an orderly fashion. A certain spot here. Put it right there. So on the back here. You want to get like one on the side or one on the top right here. There, just like that. And get it on there. And this one. I didn't get a lot. As you know. I only got like three leaves really. And there you go. Not there, you kind of want to spray a little more. These are kind of hard to get on. I don't know if you really want to use it. Leaves can be hard. And then you have the leaves on the helmet like this. Your hands may get sticky, but that's it. Always have to, like some wet napkins or like moist towel or something like that. 
and I have um, napkins, but you know, it was better to have better stuff. Or just if you just have napkins, just like water. It means because your hands get kind of sticky working with this stuff. Okay, here we go. Now there we have it so far with this all, and it shall look like this. Doesn't really look. It doesn't. Look good. And then you kind of want to get some front because I don't really have any. You know, you just kind of want to spread this stuff around, you know. Mm, I don't know. Just you want to spread this stuff around. Yeah, there we go. Here. I don't really have a lot up here, but yeah. And so that's it. That's for now. Then you want to get some, get some like, I don't know. I'll get some. I got some more kind of stuff here, right here, so I don't really know if you can see that. I don't know if it's going to go on good now. Get on, right there, there we go. And that's it so far. Okay. Get some on the top here. You want most of it on top because if you're laying down in a forest or something like that, and they're probably they're gonna see the top of your helmet most like, most likely. Just and then you kind of want this stuff. It dries fast, but it's not all fully dry most of the time. So you kind of gotta wait a little bit. Yeah. So this is it. Kind of get a little head, and then you kind of want like yeah. Oh, the leaf fell off. Right there. You don't have to do exactly how I do it with the plants, but you just want to kind of get some stuff in there, and there you have it, a gilly helmet. And you don't really need something big, I mean, you get hit in the head, this is going to protect you, especially with these in it. It's, you're not going to get hit in the head, and it's going to hurt, and you're going to feel it, and you're going to hear it, but yeah, that's about it. If you're doing this with a, if you're doing this with a, um, or a camo helmet, whatever you call it, if you're doing this with a real airsoft helmet or a real helmet Kevlar, don't do it. Don't do that. Stop right now in your tracks. But for now, if you're doing it with like this or an airsoft helmet, no Kevlar helmets. Please, a waste of money. Just to buy that and then use this on it. Please, no. There we go. There we go. So, there you have it. Gay Gilly Helmet. And then, maybe if it's not that patch where you want to get more of these in it. But that's it. And, uh, once again, all you need is a kid helmet, some leaves, um, some vet natural vegetation, and then um, some spray, multi purpose Elmer spray adhesive. It dries clear and it dries permanent. It's so good. Just if you get some on your hands, it's okay. Just don't get a lot on your hands. You don't try not to get a lot on your hands. But the first thing I'll start off with is grass, like I did. It's the best thing to start off with. And then maybe you want to cover it a little more with grass, like this. And then, like, I got some, like, long grass, tall grass, so if you can spray that on. No, trigger who let my dog eat some. Okay, stir it down there. There we go. Then you want to take it outside backyard or something. And then you want to just kind of shake it off. So all you have is the stuff that's really sticking on there.